My first guitar was a some sort of Spanish flamenco type of music that uh, I, it was actually my own music, and I'd seen it buried in the closet uh, a few times. And I decided all of a sudden I would decide I'm gonna play guitar, and I asked my grandma, goes, "Where's that that guitar it's hanging around?" And she told me where it was. I found it buried in the closet. I had one string on it, and I started learning riffs on that. But uh, <laughs> my uh, First electric guitar, um, I went down to a pawn shop in Santa Monica, went right off the beach, and went in there and they had a, a Memphis Les Paul Sunburst copy and they had an Explorer. The one was 100 and the other one was like 125. So I bought the Explorer. But when I did start playing, I had remembered that the guitar sound, the way that Zeppelin II sounded when I was a little kid, that I thought that was the coolest record and a whole lot of love was just the fucking shit. Yeah. So, you know, fast forward however many years it was when I started playing guitar. When I saw Les Paul, I thought that's a cool looking guitar and it probably sounds like that record. <laughs> you know, I was really, really ignorant. I, I learned stuff as I went. Um, but as I sort of experimented with a lot of different guitars during that period from, I guess, from 15 to probably 18. I tried all kinds of different things, and I always just ended up coming back to a Les Paul. Yeah, I loved the weight of it. It felt solid. I liked the way the neck felt. Obviously liked the way that, that it looked, and the sound was consistent. This is a 58 Carina Prime V, and it's all, except for the strap locks, which, <laughs> well, um, that's, yeah. yeah, it's pretty original other than that. Wow, okay, so refresh me again here. When did you pick this? I got this, this was during uh, Use Your Illusions? Uh, during the right before we actually did Use Your Illusions, we recorded a version of uh, Kind of Heaven's Door, uh, in, sort of separately from, from the rest of the sessions. And I, I bought this right before that and recorded that song with this guitar. Wow. And it just sounds great. So this guitar, I got fairly recently. Oh. This is an original 59 Dark Burst. I didn't think it was real. It's, you know, the first day I got it, I plugged it in, and it sounds fucking awesome. So, I mean, it is a testament that 59s, you know, when they sound good, they sound amazing. You know? Now, I may have played this guitar briefly when it was in Nashville, because it was in Cesar's office for right. a couple of days. Um, his, his came in too, and I remember opening the case and pretty much had the same reaction again when I saw it. It's Cesar scary. Cesar hooked me up. He hooked me up with a guy that is a, a guitar collector, aficionado, and I guess he didn't, I mean, I talked to the guy, he didn't want to sell it, but um, he sold it to me. I, this was sort of to fill the void for the Joe, Perry, the Joe Perry guitar. I got a phone call in my hotel room from management saying that somebody contacted us saying they've got this guitar that you might be interested in. It was owned by Eric Roberts, Joe Perry, and it was a, it was a 59 Les Paul. Like, well, the only guitar I think you're talking about, I know exactly what it looks like. So the tour ends, I get home to my apartment in Hollywood, and uh, I got this envelope, this big fat envelope stuffed with something, and I open it up and it's a stack of Polaroids, and it's that fucking guitar. Well, for somebody who plays Les Pauls for the vast majority of the time, what does the Karina do? that's different than the Les Paul sound. The V, not knowing that much about it at the time, and the Explorers had this very unique sound unto them, but they have a certain nasally tone to them that Les Paul does not have. And it's really, really a great sound, but it's also very unique to those Korean songs. Is it a rhythm sound for you, or is it a lead? It's both. It's both. It's both, for sure. Yeah. The lead sound is, I mean, like the Heaven's Door tone, that, that was the V. I mean, and that's not the typical, you know, everyday sound, but that was unique to that guitar. I got this from my significant other, Megan, for Christmas last year, and I used it on this last record. I used it for two songs. It's just got a fucking, it's a little bit cleaner than, you know, my regular Les Paul, but it has great sustain. It's got, a, the neck is, is different than what I'm used to for the Les Paul, and it's actually smaller. Yeah. And so it's just got a great sort of thumb over yeah. kind of capability. But I used it primarily because I, I did a song with a, a top box on the record. I mean, you've seen this before. Yeah. And it, it, it was a perfect sound for the top box. When I was doing some of the material off of Chinese democracy, 
on the Guns tour. I thought, you know, it would sound good for this would be a Firebird. <laughs> that's, yeah. It was one of those songs, and that's where the original idea came from. And then I went to the guys over at Gibson, and we talked about it, and so we developed these. And so there's two kinds. There's this sort of off-white model, and then there's a trans black. I was using their acoustics at the time, and I said, I want to design something where we have an acoustic on the top and an electric on the bottom and one guitar, so I don't have to stand on one of those. Stands. And so when what happens is you just we change it to the DI and we switch uh, to this neck, so obviously it doesn't feed back on the Marshalls. <laughs> yeah. How much does it weigh? It's, oh, it's, that's not. It's not too That's bad. not terrible, but I guess the top one is hollow. Man, no, I just remember seeing you play these. It's so cool. I love the green. Yeah, the green's nice. So what songs, I mean, could you still bring um, these out a little bit? Right? Yeah, I use it for Civil War primarily. Civil War. It's, it's actually not the 12 string, it's 6 six, six. I have a black one and I have a natural one. Guns always has two rigs, you know, so one rig sits in one part of the world, the other one's in the other, and so I have one for you. Well, why is it called Jessica? I named this guitar when I was drunk, and I do not remember what the catalyst for that was. But, but Jessica it. was involved. <laughs> it's interesting because it does really have a great sort of unique sound, you know, because I, I take a lot of guitars out on the road. With Guns, this has still got this very specific sound compared to all the other Les Pauls that I have out there. Are there certain songs in the set that this is? Uh, mostly, mostly appetite songs. The appetite and, songs. You know, a couple of these are illusion songs. 